The Philadelphia chromosome is the result of an exchange of chromosomal regions between two chromosomes, chromosome 9 and chromosome 22. A major part of the ABL1 gene on chromosome 9, which encodes the tyrosine kinase ABL, is translocated to chromosome 22. The fusion always occurs within a short region on the long arm of chromosome 22. This has been named the breakpoint cluster region. Because this region includes several exons with an open reading frame, the corresponding gene is called the breakpoint cluster region gene, or BCR gene. Concurrently, a part of the BCR gene, together with the long arm of chromosome 22, is translocated to the long arm of chromosome 9. The T922 translocation results in the formation of two new chromosomes. The aberrant chromosome 9q+, also called DER9 for derivative chromosome 9, and the tiny Philadelphia chromosome 22q-, also called PH1. After translocation, the Philadelphia chromosome carries the new fusion gene BCR ABL consisting of the 5' prime part of the BCR gene, which is fused at the breakpoint to the 3' prime part of the ABL gene. The exact breakpoints where the two genes are fused vary on the DNA level. Nevertheless, after transcription and splicing, only a few different mRNA transcripts result from the BCR ABL translocation. In the leukemic cells of CML patients, exon 12 of the BCR gene is fused to exon 2 of the ABL1 gene. The typical BCR ABL transcript allows the sensitive detection of leukemic cells in CML patients on the molecular level. The first step of this analysis is the amplification of a sequence fragment between exon 12 of BCR and exon 2 of ABL, which spans the breakpoint via a polymerase chain reaction. Because in normal cells without BCR ABL translocation, this reaction generates no product, the production of the fragment proves the presence of leukemic cells. This diagnostic test is very sensitive and detects even low numbers of leukemic cells, which are not detectable by optical or cytogenetic methods. In many CML patients, negative results are obtained by these conventional methods, suggesting complete remission after treatment. However, the molecular tests remain positive, showing the impossibility of eradicating tumor cells completely.